is a fascinating city. Its historical monuments and panoramic views easily capture one's attention. In the middle of this historical setting lies the heart of the Catholic Church, Vatican City. At 1.30 p.m. I began standing in a line along the Tiber River. There were people from many countries, mostly from Italy, France, Poland, and Germany. I was especially struck by the amount of young people that had come to Rome. They created a sense of excitement. The line seemed endless, and the amount of people still arriving was mind-boggling. There was still the presence of everyday routines and activities. Police and emergency services were out in droves. Free water was left at the side of the road for the pilgrims. There were so many still coming into the city. I said they were going back to break the line or something, didn't they? The voice you just heard was Tim. He was the first person I met when I joined the line. Shortly afterwards, I met a lady named Marjorie. We were pretty much surrounded by Europeans. I was amazed by the amount of youth. It took us at least eight hours to get to the Ponte Vittorio Emmanuel II bridge. When we arrived there, the line turned into a massive crowd. As the sun was setting, we could see helicopters in the sky providing security for President Bush and other dignitaries who had come into Rome. The line would move in small spurts of three to four steps on an average of every 20 minutes. And every time the line moved, people would cheer. We crossed over the bridge only to find ourselves in a huge crowd of people. All I kept thinking was, keep standing, keep moving, and keep praying. Finally, it was about 1.30 a.m., and we turned the corner on to Della Conciliazione. It was the main street that led to Piazza San Pietro and the Vatican. It was like stepping into a whole new world. Beautiful singing filled the air. I could make out the words, Ubi Caritas. As we slowly proceeded toward the Vatican, which was brilliantly illuminated, the sounds of prayer and singing filled the night air. People were snapping photos with their cell phone. It reminded me of candles being held up in the air. People could be seen everywhere holding flags and signs, describing which city or diocese they were from. You can see the screen set up on both sides of the street, 
showing historical moments in the life of the Pope. Large scaffolds were holding huge speakers as well as satellite dishes. These screens and dishes were set up throughout the city. As I continued to hear the song, Ubi Caritas, we made our way closer to the Vatican. It felt like we were all going towards the gates of heaven. It was like walking in an ocean of people, yet everyone was reverent and peaceful. People were kind to each other and patient. At approximately 6 a.m., I was standing before the Vatican door. I felt like I could barely walk, but nothing was stopping me now. As I entered the Vatican, guards and military officers were directing all the people. As I approached the altar, I got my first glimpse of Pope John Paul II. I felt a sense of reverence, as if I was standing in front of a great saint. His body was protected by Swiss guards on all four corners of the altar. Though the officials kept saying, move, move, people kept trying to take pictures. I found it difficult to keep my camera still. As I stood there taking my photo of Pope John Paul II, I felt like all of my waiting in line was worth this one moment. I laid all of my prayers before him including the prayers of my family and friends at home. 